Hi, welcome back to my channel. I got some new jigsaw puzzles, so I'm going to go ahead and first open the boxes, and then we will look at them. So this one is from Amazon. I'm going to try to turn them, whoops, don't want to knock over my existing puzzle. Try to turn them over upside down so that we can look at them together. I think I have three or four more puzzles coming, but they won't be here until about the second week in November. So we can uh, look at those puzzles when that time comes. But for now, we're going to look at these. Do I need any more puzzles? No, she says. She does not need any more puzzles. In fact, I currently have a 4 by 4 shelf in my bedroom. And with the 4 by 4 shelf, with the 4 by 4 shelf, I am going up to the ceiling. So I am going to put either a 1 by 4 on top of it or a 2 by 4. If I put a 1 by 4 on top of it, I'll be able to reach all of the puzzles. If I put a 2 by 4, I will need a ladder, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that because I do have a step stool in the kitchen, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go two by two or one by four. I mean, two by four or one or one by four. So I think that when I get my new shelving, which I hope to order it in about three or four days, when I get my new shelving, I decided to reorganize my jigsaw puzzles. I want to first reorganize them by puzzles that I have completed, then by brand, and even maybe a little bit more organization. And so if I'm going to do that, I am probably going to let my viewers see more of my discombobulated bedroom, enough so that you can see me organize those uh, puzzles. So I'm going to put this box on the floor to take these three out and then we can look at them. Oh, these two. These two. Okay. So I'm turning them all upside down. I'll break them in the boxes later. And let's look at them. Like I said, I don't need any more puzzles, but we're going to talk about why I have all of these puzzles. And almost every puzzle has a reason for me purchasing it. So let's start, let me um, make a neat pile to my left. And that way I can try to stay in frame. Now you are going to get some glare because quite naturally all of the shrink wrap is still on the puzzles. But there's nothing I really can do about that because I, don't want to remove the shrink wrap until I'm ready to work on the puzzles. So I'm using my watch to help me to determine if I'm staying in frame. So what you see here is the back of this puzzle and we're going to flip it over and I'll tell you why I got this puzzle. This puzzle is called The World of Agatha Christie. Now, before I tell you more about this puzzle, I want to say this. Usually I stick with Ravensburger Buffalo or White Mountain. I didn't choose puzzles according to company, I chose them according to what drew me to each of these puzzles. Quite naturally, the puzzles do pretty much fall into those categories, but I think going forward as a just jigsaw puzzle maker, does, uh, I don't know, what is it, just jigsaw puzzler, I won't be looking at brand. And I'm gonna tell you why, because my sister gave me a bunch of puzzles. I see Springbok, I see uh, Bits and Pieces, I see Puzzle Bug, I see Kodak, I see uh, other brands that I don't even recognize. And if I were shopping for myself, I would not have purchased those based on brands. But the puzzles are all beautiful, so therefore I decided that in the future when I purchase Jigsaw puzzles, I will purchase them by image for the most part. Now, if I'm on a Facebook group or Twitter or Instagram and somebody really 
or YouTube and they really say this particular brand of puzzle is horrible or it's too crumbly or whatever, you know, I'll take that into consideration. But all that notwithstanding, I want to tell you why I got this one without any knowledge as to who the puzzle maker is. So let's look at the box. Now, first it says it's illustrated by Ilya Milstein and um, it's Lawrence King and it says it's copyrighted in 2022 by the Orion Publishing Group. And I guess Lawrence King might be the puzzle maker. I don't know. I don't know who the manufacturer is. Now, the reason I got this puzzle is because I recently put together a White Mountain Murder and Little Piddling Mystery Jigsaw Puzzle. I made a bunch of videos and the last video that I will make is when I attempt to solve that. Now, I've been thinking about it for like three days and I'm 99% certain as to who the murderer was, but uh, I haven't made that video yet. Now, I notice that this box is not taped or shrink wrapped, so I'm just gonna lift the cover off. And what you have in this box is a beautiful size poster with some historical information on the poster, which I will read when I assemble this puzzle. Now, like I said, I got this puzzle because I have worked on that White Mountain Murder in Little Piddling. And because I worked on that puzzle, one of somebody in one of my fa uh, Facebook Messenger groups gave me some screenshots and included this Agatha Christie puzzle. And it says it's a jigsaw puzzle with 90 clues to spot. So that's going to be loads of fun. Now she also gave me some, I think two other images and I put them into my puzzle wish list on M Amazon. But for now, this will be my next mystery puzzle, The World of Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie is my favorite author by far, at least when I was growing up. I say that with hesitation because I've read about a hundred James Patterson books, about a hundred Laurie Foster books, most of Catherine Coulter's books, most of Iris Johansson books. So I don't know if I can still say Agatha Christie is my favorite author, but she, she may be, she may be. So that is my first puzzle that I want to show you. Most of the puzzles are 1000 pieces. But there is one puzzle that I purchased as a 500 piece puzzle. Actually, I'll show you that one next and I'll tell you exactly why I purchased the next puzzle. So that's my first puzzle. The next puzzle I want to show you and I want to get something out before I show you this puzzle. You know, you have too many puzzles when it takes about seven or eight minutes to look through your puzzles to find a specific puzzle. Now, I'm gonna hold off the puzzle that I was looking for to show you my next puzzle. My next puzzle is this Doddle Three Little Pigs puzzle. It's 16 by 20 inches, inches and it's a 500 piece puzzle. I only have maybe 10 or 11 500 piece puzzles. I don't purchase many of them, but the reason I purchased this, and before we look at that, I'll show you why. My sister gave me a huge bag of puzzles a while back. And she gave me this Boston Market Doddle Puzzle. And I've never done a Doddle Puzzle before. And they're very, very uh, vivid puzzles that I imagine, my imagination is that they're going to be difficult puzzles. Because I have this, I thought I would purchase a smaller Doddle Puzzle. And by purchasing this smaller puzzle, it will get, kind of get me in the feel for working on a dartle puzzle. That's my idea, and we'll see how that works. So this is Three Little Pigs. And while we're looking at it, I will show you one more time my other dartle puzzle that now I have two dartle puzzles. I love the dartle images. And I most likely will purchase more if I can manage to put them together efficiently. Okay, let's look at another thousand piece puzzle. Now I purchased three Ravensburger puzzles and I'll show you the small box first. This is the small box. And in this box, we see a just a scene. And it's called, does this have a name? Tuscan Oasis. I bought this simply because of the prettiness of it. 
I didn't buy it because I saw it anywhere or because somebody else had to uh, assembled it. I just loved the idea of working on another Ravensburger puzzle because I just love their puzzles. So that is Tuscan Oasis, thousand pieces. Like I said, most of my puzzles are a thousand pieces. Now, I did get two other Ravensburger puzzles and I got these, I think, oh yes, I got these at Barnes and Nobles. This is a vintage summer garden jigsaw puzzle. And um, I thought that I, I thought it was just lovely. And I also got it because sometimes you want an easy puzzle. And I figure even though sorting this puzzle will be difficult and time consuming, once you stop putting all the various books together, it, it should go really well. But I, I got it for the beauty and because I love books and I love vintage books, though I don't have many of them. So this is one of my Ravensburger puzzles that I just got. Another Ravensburger puzzle I got. Now this I got with a very specific reason. Uh, a couple weeks ago, well, last week, I think it was a week ago, there was a two day event on YouTube that was held in San, that was held in San Diego and it was a jigsaw puzzler contest. They had teams of four, teams of two and individual. And the first team of four puzzle was this Ravensburger mushroom puzzle. And I fell in love with this puzzle. I loved it. Our art, artist's name is Nathaniel Mortensen and I have communicated him on one of the face with him on one of the Facebook groups and this is basically called Beautiful Mushrooms and I thought I have to do this puzzle. Funny thing is I despise mushrooms. I, I don't like them. However, I like them in food like cream of mushroom soup or like if you smother your pork chops with mushroom soup. They're delicious in that manner. Other than that, I'm really not crazy about them and I hate seeing them in nature. They just give me the creeps. But not so with this puzzle because it's so vivid. You got pink and you got blue and you've got orange and you got red and you got yellow and you got more yellow and green. And this puzzle is just so gorgeous. Now it's a 1000 piece puzzle, so it's not gonna be like a quick, you know, well with me puzzles take about two days if I'm feeling well. And if I'm not feeling well, they take three or four days, but I, I just have to do this puzzle. And like I said, I, I saw it in the puzzle competition that was held in San Diego and it's only available at Barnes and Nobles. So what I did is I used the buy one, get half off. So I bought this at full price and then this came at half price. So I got, I think I got a pretty good deal with these two. Just three more to go. Okay, I am redoing part of this video because I found another puzzle. So I will edit this in and I'll show you what I'm doing on this part of the video. I bought this marine puzzle because I love the marine puzzles. The first marine puzzle I ever bought was this one here, and I will do close-ups on this uh, when I edit it. And I only have done this marine puzzle, but because I fell in love with the marine puzzles, I then went and bought this marine puzzle uh, this one here is Turtle Bay. This one is Shangri-La Sunset. And then I saw this one, and this is from Sea to Shining Sea. So when I decided that it was time to buy new puzzles, I also bought this one. This is the new one. This is the unboxing of my new puzzles. And this one is Tiny Bubbles. So those are currently the only four marine puzzles that I have. I'm just looking down. I'm pretty sure those are all that I have. So let's look at all four of them. Last, I will say this again. This is the newest one. And let's see if we can get all four in one shot without too much glare. And I will adjust the image when I edit it. And these are my four marine puzzles. They're all 1,000 piece puzzles. These are by Buffalo Games. They're 
more like buffalo now but they used to be buffalo games when i first started doing puzzles so that's why you see buffalo is the only thing on this box now this is the the new one and they don't have that buffalo puzzle piece on this on this box here so that's a little different in the in the manufacturing but i just wanted to show you my little collection of marine puzzles because i just think they're so vivid they're so beautiful and so now I've got to do some fancy editing because I left this one out of the first shooting of this video. So I'm going to edit now, but I wanted you to see all my marine puzzles. There's two more to go. And I want to see why I got, okay. This Amy Stewart is an artist that I love. I will not take the time to pull out all of my Amy Stewart puzzles but let me tell you boy do I have a lot of them maybe a dozen or a little bit more than that and they're all uh, collage type puzzles just very complicated just like the one I'm working on underneath this white foam board so I, I just got it simply because it's another Amy Stewart puzzle and don't think it's going to be my last because it definitely won't be so it's called Pickers Hall another thousand piece puzzle this is by Buffalo which is also who makes those marine puzzles I just showed you I love Buffalo puzzles always have uh, it's one of my top three favorites which again a Ravensburger puzzle Ravensburger, White Mountain, and Buffalo. So this is my new Amy Stewart puzzle. And the last puzzle I'll show you is just for the same reason I got this puzzle, I got this one for the same exact reason, because it's beautiful. But there's another reason I got this night and day puzzle. And by the way, I have one more night and day puzzle, but I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is, but I do have one more puzzle that's night and day. Um, next time I do a uh, video, I will organize my puzzles ahead of time. Now, I thought I pulled my other night and day puzzle out, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so I got this puzzle because I love Venice. And if I, if I ever created a bucket list, which I probably won't, Venice would go on that bucket list. I would love to see how it is that people live on the water and get around on the water. I've always fantasized about that from the age of a, a very young age. And I love these night and day puzzles. Like I said, I have another one. So you have day and you have night. I know it says night and day, but it's day and night. So you have the, the scenes that take place at different times of day. And it's just beautiful. And like I said, I, I got it for the same reason I got this one, because of the beauty. And then the fact that Venice is one of the places in the world that I would so love to visit, which will never happen, but it's just, you know, it's just a beautiful place. Place. So, okay, so let's look at all of the puzzles. And I count eight puzzles, I believe. One, this is the pile of them. And again, we have three little pigs. We have this Marine to Life, this Tiny Bubbles, which I don't think I named earlier. This Amy Stewart Pickup, Pickers Hall, I'm sorry. This beautiful Tuscan Oasis. And then this beautiful Venice puzzle, Sights of Venice. My Agatha Christie Mystery Puzzle, which I cannot wait to do. And my two Ravensburger puzzles, the Vintage what is this vintage? Well, it's called Summer Garden, but these vintage books, vintage Summer Gardens in total, I mean in full title. And this one based on that jigsaw puzzle contest, this Ravensburger Mysterious Mushrooms, is it called? No, Beautiful Mushrooms. So those are all the puzzles that I got for this haul. And I will be back in a couple of weeks when I get the remainder of my puzzles. So can we get them all in the frame, even though you're getting part of the boom arm? But there you have them. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.